<sighs> so here I am in the kind of a fairy tale, you know, cozy forest spot that I usually come to in my evenings. And um, you know, we need to disconnect sometimes. We need to disconnect from the stress and the uh, the daily habits and routine and uh, expectations and uh, the struggle and you know the hustle as we call it. So I think this is a kind of a sit down video today. You listen to the birds? It's pretty intense in here in the evenings. So yeah, you know we need to disconnect and uh, relax and uh, have some mindful time with ourselves. So that's why I come here. For the last weeks, um, I've been talking a lot about the changes that's been going on for the, well, especially in 2018, this year. There's so many things happening now at one time and uh, I'm noticing there's a lot of people that don't really know what's going on because they have no clue of what, you know, the grand plan for the planet is, which I think is, is the wake-up process that's been been talked about for a long time and uh, there's a lot of talk about the shift and there's a lot of talk about the event this year and if you if you start to look um, look around and if you search on YouTube you will find a lot of information about the event and um, basically the event is about the big shift or the change the big grand change that's happening on the planet right now which is um, on the spiritual level. So, so that's why you will have days now where you will, you know, experience a lot of emotional shifts and ups and downs. And um, sometimes you will even feel it in your body because there's, you know, all this big shift that's happening now is on a DNA level too. And, um, and you know, spirit affects the mind and the mind moves the body. So it's it's a total upgrade, and uh, it's also about you know taking care of and being mindful about your past in your history because there's been there might have been some things that's co coming back up now because it's time to flush that out and and change that for the um, for the last probably three years I've been having some 
I've been having some kind of um, intuitive sensations com uh, going on, coming and going at times. I caught myself once uh, while I was walking to the bus and saying saying this out loud, what the hell happened now? Something changed, I even stopped up. I stopped in my tracks, I stopped walking and I was looking up, it's like, you know, like something had just happened there and then. But it was basically just me being aware of it in that moment that something uh, had changed, so. And um, it's been more and more like that for the last years, for the last th three years. And um, I think it's been intensifying for me too. It's coming and going, but um, but I've been having um, I've been having more and more of these uh, sensations and uh, kind of experiences of maybe you want to call it timeline shifts, because sometimes the when I you know wake up one day the the, the change in my reality, the way I experience it when I get up and get out and meet people, and I sense the weather, um, I'm noticing the environment around me, uh, you know, regular people, regular places, something have changed, something have shifted. And that's why I keep saying this, and I keep talking to other people around me, uh, because I want people to know, you know, expand their mindset so they can understand their lives better. Um, but yeah, this is something that I've been having for a long time, and I just call it, um, Sometimes I just call it reality shifts. I call it timeline shifts. Uh, I guess it's all the same. And you know, even scientists now talk about parallel realities, that that's the only explanations for some of the things they can't figure out so far. And um, yeah, that's the way it is. And um, that's what I've been sensing for the last years. And uh, it's been really topping off this year, 2018. So some of the things that you can notice in your mind, in your emotions, in your body this year. Um, emotional shifts, you know, your everyday mood can, you know, really bounce up and down like, you know, like the stock market. Totally unpredictable, it seems at times, because there's things happening in, in your reality, in your, uh, in your emotional life, in your spirit body um, you may notice changes in your body for some reason sometimes you may freak out and think that you're sick but you're not it's basically just uh, it's, it's, an, uh, it's an effect of what's going on right now and it's affecting the body so that's part of the change too that could be headaches you can feel it in your stomach there's so many things that you can sense so you know for some people I just want them to know this because it's you're not always you're not always sick you know things might be changing uh, it might be just things going on in your energy body that affects your physical body so another thing you can notice um, through this time and through this especially this year is that you feel like you want to change your eating habits your diet and your food not maybe not becoming totally vegan but they want to have lighter meals every day and they want to eat more fruit more vegetables you know they're getting better at drinking water all the time and once you can change when it comes to your eating habits I think it would be well first of all you know stop drinking milk like a cow um, you don't need dairy products in general uh, f flour, you know, like bread and all this bakery stuff, it's just bad for the stomach. And um, that's one of the first things that you can cut out to feel, to let your stomach feel better uh, in the first place. Anyway, um, yeah, it's just, it's um, it's a weird year. Um, there's been a lot of shifts, a lot of energy changes. I sense the energy. I sense the mood. I sense the mood in people around me and in the area when I come out go out of my house in the morning, go out to find a coffee shop to do my work. I, I feel it then. I'm noticing changes in people. Um, I'm noticing changes in places that I go to. So it's a time where we need to get more and more out in nature. Um, and that's not just a fluffy thing, <laughs> you know, and a good thing to do because it sounds nice. 
Um, I know it's, it's romantic to listen to the birds and all that. It's, uh, well, that's a nice thing. It is. Uh, but there's something into, you know, there's something about getting into nature. When you're home in your house and there's a whole bunch of electricity around you, electronic stuff and all that, you, you know, you will charge the air with, you will charge the air with uh, too much positive ions in the air. And sometimes you can feel that. The air feels kind of thick and, you know, charged and intense and hard to breathe sometimes. But when you get out into the nature like this, especially among the trees, and in the evenings, uh, there's a whole bunch of negative ions in the air that compensates for all that. And it's good for the blood, the your breathing, the oxygen. It's good for this, your skin. And uh, if you could even just sit down like this here by a tree and get, you know, devote yourself some mind time just to yourself to feel and sense and ground yourself to the ground um, it will balance your, you know, busting energy around you and uh, kind of clear out your energy field. Okay, so you know what? I think that's it for for this short vlog video, or what do you want to call it? It's not just it's not one of my regular films. I just wanted to. Um, I had to get out today, and I just wanted to bring my camera and just give you guys an update. Uh, but I went out a little bit too late, it's getting dark. Uh, I'm running a way too high ISO on the camera. So um, I think I'll just sit down here for five minutes. Close my eyes for a moment and um, just um, wind down. And um, I recommend you do the same one of these days. Get out in the forest or some kind of a area at least where you have some grass or bushes or whatever and uh, spend some mind time and uh, be open for the changes that's coming this is about your self mastery to master yourself on a totally different level if you want to become more of the potential that you have in you 